Welcome to today's release review. In this review we will take a look at our latest release, EOS 2019.2. My name is Bob Dijkman, this is Ruben Brinkman, and today we will take a look at the improvements we made on the security model, dashboard improvements, we've implemented SAML in EOS, and we will finish up with our latest integrations with our technology partners. So, enough to do, let's get started. In the previous release, we announced the option to define which EOS users could log in to which physical controller. However, we launched this knowing that the virtual controller was not supported yet. From EOS 2019.2 onwards, the virtual controller is also supported in the security model. Okay, so there's now on, you can control and manage who can log in to all controller types. That's exactly right. Ruben, do you remember that in the release review of EOS 2019.1, we've talked about our new dashboard? Yes, of course. We moved the dashboard from Flash to HTML5 and we greatly improved the look and feel. That's correct. And in this release, we've taken that basis and to further improve the uh, dashboard and the experience of EOS. So now in EOS 2019.1, it's possible to add or remove in bulk access authorizations for contractors, employees and visitors. So this way it becomes even more easy to use EOS. That sounds cool. And you talked about improvements. What else is new? Um, in this release, it's also possible to customize your dashboard experience per user. What do you mean? Well, now from this release on, EOS remembers and saves per user the column width and sort order of columns. So uh, overall, the, exper the user experience will improve much. This way, EOS keeps getting better and better. And Bob, you know what else is new? In EOS 29.2, we have implemented SAML. And SAML will greatly improve the login procedure of EOS users. Just to ask you a question. How many login credentials do you have? Well, let me think. I have the LinkedIn, my Google account, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Amazon. Oh, Work-related, Bob. Work-related. Wor Work-related. Then that would be my Windows account, the NIDA portal, our ticket system, uh, yeah, and some other stuff. Yeah, so quite a lot. Um, what if this could be simplified? What do you mean? So one account for all? Well, I cannot promise one account for all, but with SAML implementation, we do make a step in that direction with EOS. But what exactly is SAML? SAML is an industry standard that connects EOS with third-party identity providers. Okay, but that sounds quite complex. Is it possible that you explain me how it works? Sure, let me show you the simplified flow. So if a user wants to log into EOS, he, he or she opens the user interface. And a login request is sent to the server. This is then redirected to the third-party identity provider. And this could, for example, be Okta. The last authentication check and login request is then completed via SAML. There is many steps in between which take place, but for the sake of simplicity, we've left them out here. Okay, so if I understand correctly, I can use my Windows password to log into EOS as well, so I don't need to remember a separate login for EOS. Yes, that's correct. And by adding this layer, logins are managed and a login interface is provided by the identity provider. And you can also add two-factor authentication to EOS via SAML. So thanks to SAML, the IT security of EOS further increases. Yes, this is one of the things that we improved on the cybersecurity aspect of EOS. Nice, and no more difficult passwords to remember. Yeah, but please uh, remember that this is only implemented for logging in as an EOS user. We have not implemented SAML for logging in to controllers or to EOS faces such as the graphical alarm handler or the event monitor. Next topic is our technology partner program. Ruben, can you explain a bit more about it? Yes, of course. With EOS, we focus on access control, intrusion and locker management. But via our technology partner program, third-party companies can integrate their solutions with EOS. Together, we make the product offering more complete for the customer. Okay, so we integrate with partners who can bring something extra to EOS. That's correct. And one example is visitor management. The latest visitor management integration that we have is with ProxyClick. They've just released the integration and via their cloud-based interface, visitors can be invited and pre-enrolled. This saves a lot of time at the front desk. A visitor is then created into EOS, and then optionally a QR code is issued to them to give them access to predefined areas in the building. All in all, this looks like a very warm and professional welcome for our visitors. What else is new? Well, both Recoptech and Suprema have released their biometric identification solution with EOS by making use of our Bio API. These are both on-premise integrations, so nothing is stored in the cloud whatsoever. Furthermore, Indigo Vision has released the integration between their video management platform and EOS. But this is not all. There are a lot more integration coming. 
So if you want to get to know our technology partners better, you can visit our website for all the information that you need. So again, a very nice release of EOS. The easiest way to get EOS 2019.2 is to join our uh, Upgrade Assurance program. Thank you for watching and see you next time.